Hello and welcome to the world of English language classroom. Today we will do the first lesson from class 10 textbook, the first flight. The name of the lesson is A Letter to God. We will discuss the lesson, we will read and understand and do some vocabulary activities. To do this lesson with me is Miss Kriti and you learners, we will read, we will reread and summarize the lesson and do some activities for understanding, comprehending, then do some vocabulary words, learn some words and phrases. Also, we also will learn how to use the negative negatives for emphasis based on the story. So, class 10, letter to God. Kriti, yes, sir. let me uh, ask you something, uh, maybe a kind of provocation. Do you write any letters? I used to write letters, sir. Now? But now we are writing letters using, uh, you know, um, email, emails, WhatsApp basically, messages. WhatsApp messages. So, letter writing is almost. Yes, uh, we have <coughs> lost the essence <coughs> of letter, letter writing. writing. So, you write emails and all. Yes. Supposing, if you are asked to write a letter now to someone who matters to you, who will pick up to write a letter? Who will you write? I will write a letter for my baby niece hmm. who is living uh, away from us. So, I would like to write a letter for her. Fine. Supposing if you are asked to write a letter to God, what will you write to God? You are a believer, no? you, you yes, believe in of God. Course, yeah, yeah, please. Go ahead. I would ask, uh, given the current scenarios, when will this pandemic end okay, and otherwise, the world become well, uh, otherwise, better Otherwise, place. personal, other personal things. Personal things, I would write that. You should get a job, yes, good education, many, yes, many things. Fine. Many things. Fine. Learners, what will you write to God if you are asked to write a letter to God? Think about it, reflect it. Now, here is a man who writes a letter to God. But he is writing this letter in desperation. Yes. So, letter to God, class 10, the first lesson. You may have read it. If not, after this lesson, you read it. So, before we get into the lesson, let us learn the objectives, what we are going to do with this uh, lesson. So, Kriti, you read out the objectives here. Sure, sir. Hmm. So, the objectives of the lesson. At the end of this lesson, learner will be able to read a variety of texts in English and identify main ideas, characters, sequence of ideas and events and relates with his or her personal experiences. Respond to a variety of questions on familiar and unfamiliar texts verbally and in writing. Use appropriate words to deduce meanings from clues in context while reading a variety of texts. Okay, learners, three objectives we have set for you. At the end of this lesson, you would be, you would have learnt this. One is, you would be able to read good short story in English and understand the ideas and characters, then respond to the questions based on that. So, you have to reread and do it. Then learn some vocabulary and usages. There is something called negative emphasis. So, that appears in the story, that also we will learn. Okay. Now, for the benefit of the learners as well as ourselves, Kriti, I propose that we will present the summary of the text to the learners. They have read it and those who have not read it, they can understand it better, they will read. So, here is the summary of the lesson letter to God. We have attempted to create the subtext of the this one. Come on. Start reading. Letter to God, Subtext and Summary A farmer named Lencho was expecting for a rain shower to flourish his field of corn. He was confident that his harvest was going to yield him huge profits. To his utmost excitement, rainfall did happen, but very soon it turned into a hailstorm, destroying his entire crop field. This damage was a threat to the family's survival as the entire livelihood was dependent on the year's produce. Lencho was upset and disheartened, but had total belief and unwavering faith in the God. Lencho decided to write a letter to God 
explaining his situation and asking for help. Lencho requested God for 100 pesos next one year to sustain and raise another crop. He went to the post office and posted his letter addressed to God. Nothing else, only yes. letter to God, fine. The postmaster was amused after reading the letter but then got motivated to do something for the farmer so as to keep his immense belief intact. So, what did he do? He contributed from his salary and collected money from his colleagues and friends who willingly contributed to an act of charity. Fine. The postmaster was able to collect 70 pesos only, but and put it in an envelope with signature of God and sent to Lencho. So, the postmaster himself wrote as God. Yes, God. God yes. has signed. Okay, yes. fine, fine, yeah. Lencho was not at all surprised at receiving the letter, but instead he got angry on finding that the amount was less than what he had expected. Quite natural. He yes. wanted uh, 100 pesos. Yes. He got, got only 70. 70. Yeah. He wrote another letter to God conveying his distrust in the post office employees who he thought had stolen the balance amount, calling them a bunch of crooks. Oh, good. This is what Lencho is. So, we can't blame him for cursing the post people at the post office. He has lost his crops and he wanted a light shower but heavy rain and a kind of disaster for him. He did not have anything to eat for the rest of the year. So, he wrote to God. But the poster was fine enough. So, first he thought that he, he must be a stupid fellow, a naive. But later he realized that, oh, this man has faith in God, immense faith. Okay, let us do something. Okay. Learners, this is the summary of the lesson, the story related to God. Very interesting. And uh, you may have questions about the author and the name of the currency is pesos. pesos. We will come to that later or you find yourself by googling or asking somebody. So, this is story is from South America, Latin America. That currency there is this. Even now, some countries use this. Uh, that is different thing, you can find out. Now, very interesting, Kriti, the story, uh, it appears uh, the dilemmatic uh, manner or the way humans behave. So, let us also test how far we have understood the story. So, here are some statements I will read out, you will have to say whether they are true or false. Sure, sir. Okay. The storm lasted for an hour. False. False. Yeah. Half an hour, no? Yes. Half an hour. Okay, fine. The hailstorm left the trees leafless and the plants flowerless. This is true. True. Yes. Yes. Completely, Completely it was. Completely devastated. Hmm. Lencho wrote a letter to God asking for 70 pesos to help his family. No, this is false. He was asking for 100 pesos. Fine. Then, the fat postmaster, this is how Lencho describes him. The fat postmaster wanted to play a joke on Lencho and wanted to make fun of him. No, this is false. Because he never we, met him. Yes. Hmm? Fine. The friendly postmaster was able to generate some money for Lencho. Yes, that is true. True. So, Lencho was unhappy to receive the money sent by God. Yes, this is true. Why? Because he was expecting 100 pesos hmm. and instead he got 70 pesos only. Fine. Then, now, it is very interesting. We saw the summary. We have some questions which will make our learners to go back and read. Now, let us do some vocabulary activities. What kind of man is Lencho is the question. Here are some words to describe his actions and uh, behaviors and his qualities. So, what we are going to do is, I am going to show you the words and I'm, you keep saying I am going to circle them, okay, circle them. Pick the words which describe Lencho's actions. Greedy? Yes, he was a little bit greedy. Greedy is what? A person who is longing for others things or too much. But was he greedy? Because he got some amount of help hmm. and he did not accept it. You know, that was his faith. Okay. That if God has sent 70 pesos, he could have really sent 100. So, okay. So, he was not a greedy person. So, I do not uh, think he is greedy. Okay. Greedy because he has lost everything. Okay. So, 
if you consider greedy, I will circle it. What do you say? Let us leave greedy for now. Okay. Was he helpful? Yes, he was helpful. To his family to and, his family. and others. Fine. Was he a knave? Yes, he was knave. Why? Because he had faith in God. So, having faith in God is not uh, yeah, kind of. Uh, but he, he wanted to convey his. Uh, blind faith. Yes. So, yeah. and he thought that God would send him something. Yes. That, that's right. Fine. So, was he faithful? Yes, he was faithful. Definitely. Yes. Okay. Was he stupid? No, he was not stupid. Now, I would consider him stupid. How can one believe? Okay, oh. you do not want to put him as, yeah, fine, yeah. fine, yeah, his, it was his faith, okay, yes. all right. Was he generous? Yes, he was generous. Well, how? Because he not only wanted the help for himself, but he wanted the help for his family as well. Okay, well, what is generosity? What is generous? Generous is a person who Gives. believes in giving. <laughs> yes, but does he give? No, he was not giving. In <laughs> so, he was yeah. not generous, okay. okay. Uh, let us put it that way. Was he ungrateful? No, no, he was not ungrateful. Okay. So, uh, it is not his quality. Was he selfish? No, he was not selfish. <laughs> do not you consider him to some extent selfish? Okay, he was not selfish. I leave it there. So, was he comical? No, he was not comical. He was serious. He was, he serious. was very serious. Was he unquestioning? Yes. Yes. Okay, he was unquestioning. Okay. Was he sacrificing? Yes. For his family? For his family. Okay. Was he critical? No. No. Okay. So, he was also not greedy. So, let us you read out the qualities of whatever I have circled. So, the qualities of Lencho are he was helpful, naive, faithful, unquestioning and sacrificing. Fine. Okay. Learners, keep this in mind because we may have to write this the character sketch of this man. Okay. Now, uh, we have read the story. We have created the sub text, summarized it, we did some vocabulary, the describing words of this one for Lencho, then we did some uh, understanding of the story by doing that true or false question. Now, in the story, there are some interesting expressions and usages. You can see them on the screen, read the sentences from the story from your textbook. Look at the first sentence, uh, Kirti, read out. It says, this year we will have no corn. Okay. This year we will have no corn. This can be said, there will not be any corn. Hmm. Look at that no corn is negative emphasis, yes. using negatives for emphasis. People say, there is no life here. So, that means, they are putting an emphasis using no. So, there are some sentences, let us do it. This year we will have no corn meaning there will not be any corn this year. Look at the second one. The hail has left nothing. The hail has left nothing. That means? The hail has destroyed all the crops. Next sentence. Lencho had done nothing else but see the sky towards the east. So, this is also from the story. Lencho has done nothing else but to see the sky towards the east because nothing else to see means some hope and there is nothing else to do. This means Lencho. Lencho could not do or think anything but see the sky towards the east. Fine. Now, next one, we have no other option but to stay at home in the current situation. Next one, we have no other reason than to have the pleasure of feeling good. So, these are all the negative emphasis and now Kriti using negatives for emphasis that we have seen how the story uses uh, negatives to emphasize something. So, here are some more sentences for us to understand, I have no other choice but to be at home, there are no leaves on the tree, nobody will help, I only will do it. Now, last sentence could you read for me? Sure, sir. Hmm. We do not have any option, we need to find a vaccine for COVID-19. Fine, that is the condition the world is in now. So, in all this, either do not know nobody, you can see those appearing uh, negative, they have used the negatives for emphasizing something. 
So, I am going to ask you to say this sentence differently. Okay, here are the sentences for you again. I do not have a choice, so as I decided to be at home. How will you say it if you have to say in expanded manner? I would say it, I do not have a choice, so I decided to be at home. There are the tree has no leaves left. How will you say it? There are no leaves on the tree. There are no trees on the leaves and it can be said different manner also. No one can help you, only I. Nobody will help, I will only do it. Okay. We are left with no option but to find a vaccine for COVID-19. We do not have any option, we need to find a vaccine for COVID-19. Oh, very good, well done. This is how negative emphasis is changing. Now, we are going to take the learners again to reading and understand the story. They will not read now, they have read it or they have got the summary of it. So, let them understand this time through multiple choice questions. Okay. What did Lencho hope for? Lencho hoped for rains, Lencho hoped for heavy rains, Lencho hoped for a hailstorm. Lencho hoped for a drought. Sir, I think the correct answer would be option A, Lencho hoped for rain. Very good. How did Lencho feel after the rain? He was happy that the crop got enough of water from the rains. He was cursing his wife for the rains. He was sad and felt that this year his family would go hungry. Sir, the right answer would be option number C. He was sad and felt that this year his family would go hungry. Good, well done. So, what was Lencho's only hope? God has destroyed his fields with the rain. God would help him. People at the post office would help him. No one would help him. Uh, so, the right answer would be God would help him. Fine, he believed Option that. Option B, yes, he, he believed, believed that. What did Lencho do with his faith in God? Lencho asked for money from post office. Lencho wrote a letter to God. Lencho cursed people and God. He worked hard again in his fields. So, the right answer would be option B, he wrote a letter to God. With his faith, ok. Yes. Fine. What did the postmaster do when he received Lencho's letter? He thought that Lencho was a crazy person. He gave Lencho some money. He gave part of his salary, collected money from his colleague and sent to Lencho. He did not reply Lencho at all. So, the right option would be option C. He gave part of his salary, collected money from his colleague and sent to Lencho. Fine. Now, say whether the following statements are true or false based on your understanding of the story. Lencho felt happy when he opened the letter from God. This is false. Why? Because he was expecting that God will give him 100 pesos, but instead he got only 70 pesos. Okay. Fine, fine. Lencho felt that the people in the post office are good. No, this is false. Why? What does he call them? He calls them a bunch of crooks. Bunch of crooks, yes. Ah, yeah. because, <laughs> crooks are dangerous yes, people. Because yeah. he thought that they have taken away the money given from God. Okay. Lencho felt that the people in the post office are crooks. Is that right? Yes, this is true. Okay, we have said it. The postmaster was moved by Lencho's faith. Yes, that is also true. Learners, we have come to the uh, almost close of this lesson, this part of the lesson. We will move on to the second one with some more activities. Before that, I am going to ask you, Kriti and the learners there, Lencho's reflect on, think about it, reflect on. Lencho's faith paid him. Lencho is a stupid crook. The postmaster is a person of faith and rationality. If you are Lencho, what will you do? If you are the postmaster, how will you deal with Lencho's letter? Here are four or five things just to reflect. I am not going to ask you to speak, read, write. You have read the story. Come on, for the benefit of learners, let me ask Kriti to read. Come on, read this out to them. Sure, sir. Hmm. So, reflect on Lencho's faith paid him. Lencho is a stupid crook, postmaster is a person of faith and rationality. If you were Lencho, what will you do? If you were the postmaster, how will you deal with Lencho's letter? Right. Learners, come on, let us reflect. Before uh, we close this lesson, Kiriti, I said that the currency named peso 
and the story is based in latin, latin america latin america yes so so latin america uh, experiences like any other country particularly india lot of uh, calamities heavy rain sometimes no rain sometimes and drought uh, cyclone heavy rains so many things so this is how farmers live so learners you have to reflect on the real problems of farmers also so before we close let us ask you something learners read the story lencho again possible more than once two three times answer the toss we did in this lesson at the end of the lesson in the textbook that's one one part then attempt to write a description of lencho and his qualities we have discussed so this is a kind of follow up work for you so this is where this one uh, we have done and also another thing uh, kriti we should remember farmers are today suffering all over the world particularly africa and asia other parts of the world slightly better so we should think of farmers when we eat the food when we see the food on the table so my professors used to say professor abhijit patak from jawaharlal nehru university he says he uh, he would say he says uh, when you see the food on your plate think of the farmer who cultivated it think think of those people who harvested it think of those people who market uh, transported it and someone ground it for you then the food is there and at home someone has cooked for you so remember all those people then there is something some meaning of your eating i mean full meaning of your eating learners uh, we have read the lesson summarized it answered the questions to understand comprehend and we did some vocabulary we also did some uh, language item like using negatives for emphasis so now let me ask you myself and kriti both of us are asking you something to do read the story of lencho again more than once answer the questions which we have done on the lesson so far and the questions from the textbook and the last one as a homework for you is write a description of lencho using those adjectives we have done thank you very much happy learning keep learning we will meet you in the second part of this lesson let it to god thank you very much